Hymns. Hello and welcome to the Hymns video on how to use our Bookshare app for downloading your favorite books from Bookshare. As with any application on the Braille Sense, you can always press function key 1 and get to the start menu and the Braille Sense YouTube will announce file manager. File manager F. At any time from anywhere on the Braille Sense YouTube, I could use the shortcut hotkey, function key 1, and the letter L to launch the Bookshare app. But I am going to scroll through the file manager to the library services menu and go to the Bookshare download app that way. Word processor W, document reader K, email E, media F, organizer O, web tools B, social networking C, extras X. Library Services L. And on Library Services, to open the Library Services menu, I'm going to press Enter. Bookshare Download B. Bookshare Download is the first menu. Edit. The Bookshare Download app is the first item in the Library Services menu. I am going to press Enter. It is worth pointing out that we are assuming for this video that you have an active and working internet connection. Connected, please wait. Login ID, edit box. If you have never logged into Bookshare before, you are prompted for your login ID. I'm going to type mine in now. I'm going to press the tab key or function key 3 and move to my password field. Login password. Edit box. And I'm going to type in my password. Note that if you are using UEB, you will not have to use computer braille at any time. I've finished typing in my Bookshare password, so I'm going to press my tab key or function key 3. Anonymous mode. Checkbox unchecked. The anonymous mode allows one who does not have a Bookshare account to log in and search for books and download books that are not copyrighted. This box is unchecked by default. I could press the space bar to toggle that checkbox. On the Braille display, I would see UCHB for unchecked. Anonymous mode. Checkbox checked. Or SCHB for selected checkbox. I'm going to press the space bar again to uncheck this box. Anonymous mode. Checkbox unchecked. And I'm going to press my function key 3 or tab key again. Save button. And by pressing enter on save, I will log into Bookshare and my user ID and password will be saved. Log again. Please wait. Option saved. Select search mode, books, combo box. The first choice that I come to after I have successfully logged in to Bookshare puts me in to a combo box where I can choose what I want to look for. I can search for books or by pressing my scroll down button. Periodicals, combo box. I can search for periodicals such as newspapers. I'm going to scroll back up to books. Books, combo box. And press my F3 or tab key. Select search method, search word, combo box. And again, I am in a combo box. I can search by word. I can press my scroll down button. Category search, combo box. I can search by bookshare categories, or I have one more choice. Search full text, combo box. The search full text combo box will search the entire text of all books on bookshare for a specific text string. This takes a very long time. I'm going to scroll back around to book. Uh, I'm going to scroll back around to search by word. Search word, combo box. And now that I have selected how I want to, and now that I have selected how I want to search with Bookshare, I can press my tab key or function key three. Search word, enter title, author or ISBN, edit box. And as the Braille Sense U2 has announced, I can search by title, author, or ISBN. Since I happen to know that there are a lot of Harry Potter books on Bookshare, no big surprise, we'll simply type in Harry Potter. 
And again, I do not have to use computer braille. I can use contracted braille if my uh, braille sense is set for contracted braille, so I can use whatever type or grade of braille that I want. I press my function key three or tab key. Search button. And I get to the search button. I'm going to go ahead and tab at this point and come back to the search button to show a couple of other options that are available here. Login settings, common dialog button. The login settings button will allow you to change whether Bookshare remembers your login information or not. I'm going to go ahead and tab one more time. Options, common dialog button. The options button will do a number of different things. It will let me change the default download folder for Bookshare books. It will also let me decide whether I want to have books automatically unzipped from Bookshare. I do, but by default this option is turned off, so I'm going to press enter on the options dialog. Options dialog box. Default download type. Daisy. List item. I can choose between Daisy. Default download type. Daisy. List item. And I can press my space bar to change to BRF. Default download type, BRF, list item. Or I can press my space bar again. Default download type, prompt, list item. To prompt, which, to prompt, in which case I will be prompted every time I download a book if I want it to be a DAISY or BRF file. I'm going to press the space bar again to go back to DAISY, which is the default download type. Default download type, DAISY, list item. I'm pressing my tab key or function key three one more time. Default download folder flash disk download button. This is where I could change my default folder for downloading Bookshare books. By default, any books that you download from Bookshare are going to go into the download folder on your flash disk. I'm going to press tab one more time. Save button. Where is this option? We're editing from where I said I'm going to press tab one more time. Default download save cancel but default download type daisy. List item, auto and zip, off. Ooh, List item, okay. default download type, daisy. List item. Okay, we're going all the way back and editing to where we've pressed the space bar to go back around to daisy for the default download type. If I press... Default download type, daisy. List item. If I press my dot four in the space bar on the default download type, I come to an option... Auto and zip, off. List item. Auto and zip, off. If I turn this option on by pressing the space bar. Auto unzip on. List item. Now when books are downloaded they will automatically be unzipped on the Braille Sense U2, saving me the hassle of having to unzip them later. I'm going to press my tab key. Default download folder flash disk download button. With this option I could change my default folder for Bookshare books. By default our download folder is where your Bookshare books are going to be kept, so it's the downloads folder on the flash disk of the Braille Sense. I'm going to press tab one more time. Save button. I do want to save these options, so I'm going to go ahead and press enter. Option saved. Options common dialog button. Now remember I have Harry Potter typed in as a book search. I could have just pressed enter or tabbed over to search, but I wanted to show you the options, so I kept going. I am now going to shift tab by pressing space and F3 to go back around to the search button. Login settings, common dialog, button, search, button. And now I'm going to press enter and we will finally get to see what Harry Potter books we have on Bookshare. Searching. Harry Potter Collector's Handbook 186, list item. Wow, so there are 86 different Harry Potter books. We could go through them all, but time won't permit. I can use my scroll buttons to move from one book to the next. Harry Potter's Bookshelf 286, list item. Harry Potter Collector's Handbook 386, list item. Harry Potter and Philosophy 486, list item. If at any time I want to see more information about a specific book, I can press my tab key. Detail information, common dialogue. And I button. can press and I can press enter on the detailed information button and I can get access to things uh, like the synopsis, the ISBN, and other information. I'm going to go ahead and press my tab button again. Download button. 
And at this point, if I press enter, I will be downloading Harry Potter and Philosophy. Preparing download. Download started. Two seconds left. Download done. Unpacking zip file. Please wait. Download. Button. And there we go. So now the Harry Potter and Philosophy book has been downloaded. It's been unzipped and it's waiting to be read with the DAISY player since DAISY is our default file format that we chose for our book downloads in, uh, on the Braille Sense. And that's all there is to it. So happy reading and enjoy your Bookshare account. I'm going to close out of Bookshare by pressing space and the letter Z, which works like an Alt F4. Bookshare download. And I'm going to press that a couple more times just to close me all the way back out to my start menu. Library services, L. And there we go. Thank you for watching.